Alright, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again, so today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys some updates to the Bane character. Uh, I went to sleep and just woke up. So, we actually have went CI. We are level 72 when we went CI. It doesn't really necessarily matter your level. More so that you have, you know, your proper immunities to uh, shock, freeze, bleed, etc. Uh, and then, of course, making sure you have some sustain. So I really should have Vol, Blis Vol Discipline, but we don't have Vol Discipline right now. Also recommend for your Bane characters that you pick up a Dodre Scorn. You can find this for a 1 to 2 Chaos. It's basically like a 5 link. It also gives you a nice amount of energy shield. Because it's plus 2 to socketed Curse Gems, it also works for your 2 Curses. So I've got Bane, Despair, and Feeble Efficacy right now doesn't really matter if you use efficacy, void manipulation, or insert, whatever other multiplier, they're all very similar in terms of your damage. Um, I just didn't really want to feel like recoloring. I just got Enfeeble put in because we did our CI respec, so we picked up Whispers of Doom. Uh, next up, I do have to grab like Leadership, I do have to grab the Curse Effect here. Um, I also want to potentially go down here to Charisma, uh, but I don't really need to do that until I'm going to get Temp Chains running which is from Uber Lab. I may swap around how I'm gonna be cursing, but for right now, I'm gonna stick with this. I just don't like not having Temp Chains Blasphemy right now. Anyway, let me go ahead and jump into a map. So just to show you, I've got a pretty shit weapon. It's nothing special. I've got currently Control Destruction, Blight, Efficacy, which is my Vol Blight. Doesn't do that much yet. Uh, and then I've just got Efficacy, Bane, Despair, and Feeble. So let me go ahead and jump into a tier 3 map. This is the highest map that I have right now. Oh, Crippling Grief. Don't I have Crippling Grief? I actually don't, so that's awesome. Uh, I don't really have much defense against porcupines right now, so it's definitely not a good video to showcase this, because I'm not running a basalt at the moment. That's going to be something we're really going to have to get. Okay. Alva. Going to be nice to me, Miss Alva? Okay, let's go do Alva, of course, this. One thing that's really nice about using this setup with Bane is if you decide to go with the two curse route, which should be less damage than another multiplier, but naturally, in my opinion, much stronger because of the fact that you're applying a second curse. Um, the curses are not actually support gems, which means they don't link to Bane. They increase its damage based off of how the gem works, but they don't link to it which means they gain benefit of active gem scaling, I believe, like in power. But more so in the early game, they don't increase your mana cost. So the Dodre Scorn gives us plus two to Bane, which is basically a support gem that doesn't increase its mana cost. You also get Despair and Enfeeble, which increase the damage by a multiplier, but do not increase the mana cost. So we kind of have like a five link Bane that costs 24 mana, which is really nice for builds that reserve a lot. in here? Flame Workshop? Sure. Really not liking those porcupines though. I think I'm gonna have to make Basalt Flask a high priority. Super high priority. For helping with single target, getting yourself a Wither with Wither Spell Totem and then Multi Totem is very very strong and this is kind of why I wanted to get the temp chains running so like these mobs here that are charging at you can just very easily be kited and you don't really have to worry about them V 
Feeble's really nice. I just like Temple on um, Blasphemy. can't wait for an auto gem leveling system. I'll never forget, I had this buddy that played PoE on Xbox, and I thought, you know, Xbox PoE is the biggest meme. Sorry if that offends anyone on YouTube. I know you guys can be sensitive sometimes. But he came over my my apartment, and he was like, Hey dude, I noticed, like, you're a badass and you kill shit really fast, but why don't you just auto level your gems? I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, well, I'm in Act 4, and I got really annoyed about the gem leveling, so I just turned on the auto gem leveling. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? How does Xbox get auto-gem leveling like two years ago and we're still stuck with like having to scroll all the way to the right side of the screen, accidentally click, run into something and then kill ourselves when Xbox has it, dude. Xbox is the real meta. Yeah, dude. Straight up, straight out of Act 4. <laughs> Telling me how to play my character. No, I just thought that was really funny. That's all. I'm kind of scared of of Kavasa's memories right now, so I'm gonna just leave him alone. I don't even know what the mobs are in there yet. Spooky. Is that fractured? Nope. We're good. Yeah, I gotta go back and get the basalt, like I said. I just don't like running a basalt flask unless it's rolled properly. Because I feel like the uptime is too short and the recharge rate sucks. When you're like just starting out. I prefer a granite to be honest. A granite before I get like flask effect and good clear speed. I guess I don't even need the clear. My clear is fine. It's more so of having a flask effect duration. Which is on the alchemist nodes. This is Big Papa Bear. I think I just missed my Vol Blight. Um, I'm a good player. Didn't even know you could miss Vol Blight. That's awkward. Well, this is the damage with just pure Bane. It's still pretty much okay, so if you guys wanted to see that, there you go. I think that's literally the first time in history anyone has missed with Vol Blight. Glad you made it back. <laughs> uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, in terms of my ascendancy order, because I wanted to go CI as soon as possible, I went with Wicked Ward Vile Bastion, and then Profane Bloom after. I also like playing very defensive on League Starts, because you never really know what's going to happen on a League Start. Nothing is really balanced. Um, you know, PoE is a small indie company, and you got to remember that their balancing takes a lot of time. So, 
Anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I'll continue to put out some updates with the character. So, see you guys all later. Don't forget, if you like the video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box to ask me my opinions on skills that I don't play. Have a good one, everybody.